Hello there, this is Dango1867. Hope you're all feeling alright today because I am tickety boo. We've got the Lissandro Lopez player review. It's his first inform of the season for the Argentine playing for Racing Club in Argentina. Stats on the screen, as you can see them, lots of very high greens in lots of solid striker areas. This guy is one of the most well-rounded players I've used this FIFA. And I've got to say, going into the pros and cons, as you can see, there's lots and lots of greens. The pros for this guy are, as you can see straight away, four-star weak, four-star skill. He's got the high attacking work rate as well. And he has got some amazing, amazing stats all around. He's a very well-rounded striker. He's got good finishing with either foot. He's pretty good in the F despite only being five foot nine, And he's pretty quick. He's got solid dribbling, good passing, and everything he does, he does pretty damn well. The cons for this guy is very much, despite himself not being actually that slow he's not sweaty he's not a 90 pluser he's not going to run away from people all day long and his high defensive work rate hinders him somewhat if he didn't have that i'd feel he'd be one of the better players on the entire game and that sounds like a, a big boast but the fact is that high defensive work rate seems to make him drop so deep you don't get the best from him you have to really work hard to get him in the positions where he can do things like this by running at people and putting the ball into the back of the net his all-round stats are amazing. It's just that high defensive work rate absolutely kills him as a striker. As a midfielder, he'd be solid. But as a centre forward, if you want him to get those goals, it's really difficult to get him in the positions. And because if he is in there, he will finish. His stats are superb and he's a very good player. But for me, only 7 out of 10 just because he's never in the right place.